top strategies at Town Hall 12. We are starting with hybrid. In this one, we will take out this section with our queen. We will charge her in there. Then trim this section with our king. And then unleash the hybrid from this side. And that will end in here. Sounds like a plan. So let's start making a funnel on this side. We will use a giant and one wizard. But looks a bit they are going to fail. So we will deploy one more hog rider for that. Now the baby dragon can handle the rest. We will deploy the queen here. And we will also need to make her away. We have got wall breakers for that purpose. We will deploy the healers. One troop has been lured from the enemy clan castle. More will come out soon. So we will poison that. And raise our queen. There are super minions in there. They are pretty strong defense against a queen charge. But we will survive. And here we will deploy the king. Followed by the siege barrack. The king is going on a weird direction. So we will just deploy the miners. Followed by the hog riders. And then the warden. The king is back on the track. So we will help him with one headhunter. We forgot about the queen totally and I ended up losing her ability. So we will rage her up now. Deploy a heal spell here. We'll keep the warden empty for a little bit longer. And then use it when the enemy queen is engaging our hybrid. Our queen will also help and take that enemy queen down. And by the looks of it, she will grab that town hall. The hybrid is going nicely. There are hogs out from that siege barrack that will join the queen. I will heal here around that wizard tower. We still have got two of the free spells remaining. I will freeze this Muldai. The queen should be able to take out that other Muldai in a second. So we will not use the free spell there. We'll use it on the first Muldai. Everything has grouped up here. Even the wizards from the siege barrack. And I think this Muldai will be the last structure that will fall. First the hybrid will go check on the top side. The Muldai will take out the hog riders. But the miners will come back to that in a second. The queen is not reachable. The healers will transfer over to the miners and they will get the multi down. So if you want to see a dedicated video for this hybrid strategy, then I will link the card here. Because this strategy can take out any Town Hall 12 base. Now we will do Lalo. In this one, we will take care of this Inferno Tower with our lightning spells. Then blimp out this section. Use the heroes to get the Eagle Artillery. We will keep the queen on the outside and with some headhunters get the enemy queen. Then Lalo through the remaining base. This is Zap Lalo by the way. So let's begin. We'll zap out this Inferno Tower. Four lightning spells and one earthquake spell. Then let's charge the heroes. We will use the king. One super barbarian for funneling. Another one here. We'll deploy the queen. The ice column. The queen will remain on the outside. The enemy CC will be drawn so we will poison that. The next phase can begin, we'll deploy the blimp, open it manually, raise the whole thing, that will take care of that compartment. The king has done a decent job here, and he has taken out the eagle artillery. The e-drag will knock out our king, that is fine. The Yaris have done a good job, and I think they will take this wizard tower down. We'll get ready with our next ice column, we'll deploy that right now. The enemy e-drag is coming for our queen, so we will freeze that. Now we will get ready with the headhunters. I want the enemy queen out. The queen has got her ability, so headhunters are not exactly necessary. And it is not usually ideal to take out queen in this way. So you might want to cover the headhunters under your warden ability. But since we got exceptional hero value and blimp value, we'll be able to get the queen down and that inferno tower down in the middle, even if we hit a tornado trap. Now it's time for the final phase. We'll deploy balloons, few here and few here, the lava hound, haste them. We will also use the queen ability, deploy the next lava hound and more balloons. Now we will deploy the warden right here. We will freeze the down hall. I want to see that pack of balloons with warden but it's not totally possible. Okay, we will lose some of the balloons but it's fine. We still have got plenty to deploy. We will deploy them here, haste this group towards that air defense. We still have got one balloon so let's deploy that here. Then the baby dragon, deploy the clean up over there. The BB Dragon will think that expo and in that period of time, this group of balloons will reach that. Now that's what I'm talking about. We also got a split and that cannon will be taken down. Now it's time for clean up. We still have got plenty of time and we have got minions all around. This was Zap Lalo. I will be making one Town Hall 12 Lava Loon video. I'll showcase all the different variations of Town Hall 12 Lava Loon in that one. I'll link it right here. Be sure to check that one out. Now we're gonna try Pekka Smash. This is the most default variation. If you get this one, then you should be able to do all the other smashes. In this one, we will let the Warden make a funnel on this side, use the King and the Siege Barrack on this side. And after they are done, we will let rest of the troops go from this side. 
It seems like a plan. So let's start with the warden walk. We'll deploy the warden. Four of the healers. This is going to be a bit slow in the beginning. But maximum we will take a minute to form the funnel. The warden will be fine. It's not under too much fire. The good part doing a warden walk is that the warden can jump over walls and get some extra buildings. After that we will deploy the king from the side. We have got wall breakers. We will deploy one of them here. The siege barrack and the king should do a good deal of funneling. I want them to go on this side, but as long as they get this much section down, it's good enough. The Beckers can always walk back here. I will use the king ability and that will fast up the process just a little bit. They are not going there, so let's begin wall breaking here. The expo is tanked, so we don't have to worry about that. We will deploy all the Beckers and the queen a little bit on the side with the bowlers. That should get the attention of the warden and he should follow soon. We will place the jump spell here and that should lead all the troops towards the core. We will use the warden ability in a bit and that will save the troops from the second strike of the eagle. The ice golem was popped so that's going to help to take down the town hall. Now this inferno can be a big threat so we will rage again. Notice that we do not have any heal spell here. All the healing is done by the healers. And the pekkas have good amount of health. They usually do not need that much healing. The queen has gone on this side. That's good. We still have got free spells left, we'll use them later. Use bowlers on that cannon. We will get some extra damage on that storage as well. We still have got a miner. I brought that to finish off some trash building if the main force left that in the middle. But so far, they have got everything down. I would like to prioritize the survival of the healer, so I'll freeze that air defense. I'll be freezing that expo because it is the hardest hitting defense remaining. I think I will also deploy the miner on that mortar because everything else is done. And we have got a lot of Pekka's that has survived. You can do a bunch of Pekka smash strategies at Town Hall Duel. Maybe I'll make a Pekka smash strategy video in the future. Now we have got Super Archers. For this one we will do a Skelly Donut and take out the Clan Castle along with the Eagle Artillery. Then make a funnel here and charge all the Super Archers from this side. It's a very easy strategy. Let's begin. First we will deploy one Rage Spell, followed by Invisibility Spell, then two Skellies. One on the Clan Castle and one on the Eagle Artillery. Keep making them invisible and be sure to collect at least the Clan Castle. That's the primary target. Even if you miss the Eagle Artillery, that's not recommended but recoverable. That has been taken out. Now the next phase can begin. So we will deploy the Queen for healers. At least three of them. One Wizard to cut her pathing. We are also doing sneaky goblins here. I want the king on this side and the rest of the troops from this side. Let's deploy the last set of sneaky goblins right there. And then we will deploy all the super archers, the log launcher and the warden along with them. We have three of the healers remaining so we will deploy them here. Our queen will also need one raid spell. I do not want to lose her ability. It's too soon for that. We have got more super archers so let's deploy them. The king here along with the witch. We also had to deploy balloons but I forgot. The super archers are moving steadily and with the help of this rage spell they will get a ton of value. We ended up using the queen ability here and she will also fall by the looks of it. But in this attack the queen is not the main show. The super archers can carry the attack more than enough. The warden couldn't decide where he was to go so he's here for the time being. The super archers are back and the warden will also follow them. So we will get one warden ability. The ice golem is going to pop and it's going to freeze everything. And in that period of time, the super archers will get the town hall and the enemy king. Our king is in the outside. We'll have to use his ability in a bit and the warden ability as well. Let's save our super archers in the core from those expos. It was not exactly necessary, but why not? I think I can snipe that archer tower out. So we will deploy the balloon and one remaining archer on that. And at this point, we are just coasting towards the third star. We have got everything under control. All the healers are healing those super archers and that expo cannot chip away their health. We do not have any more spells left but none is required because this attack is strong. And like others I will also make a dedicated video for this one because there are other variations and other ways to approach bases with this strategy. So it deserves a specific video. If you want to wreck Town Hall 12 bases with easier strategies, then you will love this video. It has got the easy strategies that can easily 3 star a Town Hall 12. Before we end this video, I would like to thank GrannyX and Prem92 for sending me the friend request. And if you would like to do the same, then this is my player writing.